Hello, and welcome to Sea Club Alcudia. So, just doing a little video here on the resort where we're staying. Uh, it is August 2022. So, on the main street, opposite, got a little spa shop, a couple of little bars. Across the far side, about two blocks away, you've got a main drag with pizzas and, uh, you know, all the kind of uh, tat shops and such. This way, two blocks down, you've got the beach. And then across in that direction, uh, half an hour walk to the town, uh, Port Alcudia, and the old town as well. Uh, but this is more about the Sea Club Hotel. So, from the entrance, got some little uh, scooter bikes. Just some push bikes to hire. And then you come into the reception. From the reception, you can turn into the entertainment and bar area. Now the reception's great, the staff are all really good. We've been here about three days so far. They all speak excellent English, German, Spanish obviously. Um, there's quite a lot of other nations here, lots of uh, Italians and uh, Scandinavians, a couple of Russians. So, the bar itself, so first of all you've got the entertainment suite. So, every night there is a show on and uh, kids clubs, um, nice and cool. Then across on the other side, you've got the restaurant. So uh, we've just gone for the uh, breakfast, bed and breakfast option. But then we have actually come in for dinner one night, which was 28 euros or uh, 14 euros for kids. And it was pretty good, you know? So it was like 86 euros, I guess, for two adults, two kids. You get your beers, local wine, sangria, big old spread. Um, the breakfast is really good. It's everything you'd kind of expect. You know, there's a hot plate guy there cooking pancakes. There's bacon, uh, kind of a Euro continental breakfast, a Euro English breakfast, cereals, fruit, the whole nine yards. It's pretty good. Uh, and again, dinner was kind of pan-European, all the things. The restaurant itself, there's an inside bit which is nice and air conditioned, and there's also the outside bit as well. So, I'll just take you around and show you this map. So, here's a map of the uh, campus. So, we've arrived here at the bottom, and I've just kind of stood behind reception here, uh, here somewhere. And there are three main zones on this campus, and then you go across a road at the top, and there's another campus at the top. So what I figured out is that there are all the different kinds of apartments, uh, premium apartments, family apartments, pool views, garden apartments, and they're all kind of mixed in together. So on each block, so for example, we're on uh, B7. So that block has... Uh, premium apartments downstairs, pool view apartments upstairs, at the ends of each block in the corners of the garden apartments. Um, the studios are up in zone D, which I think are just for adults, and there's also like family, uh, families and doubles, which are again in just this section of zone D. In zone D up here, there is a cafe uh, for breakfasts, meals, and uh, evening meals. Uh, if you don't want to walk all the way back to this main restaurant, which I've just shown you. Um, so there are four pools. One, two, three, four. And then there's also the pools up in zone D. So this is zone A. Uh, uh, volleyball court, little play zone, apartments across the back. There's another pool over there with kind of uh, kind of uh, Romanesque arches. Uh, this is Pool A. So it's the shallowest of all the pools, best for the small ones, I would say. 
Uh, there's a lifeguard. Sometimes, sometimes there isn't. They're all pretty clean, and each one has its own snack bar. At the back of Pool A, Zone A, there's a little supermarket where it's got just uh, everything you need, uh, quite reasonably priced. Okay, so now we're coming into Zone B. Um, so this is the far end, which has got garden apartments on the corners, regular apartments uh, and premium apartments, I think. And then there's the pool view apartments down that end. That is right at the end, that's uh, the restaurant and entertainment space, which I showed you earlier. And I guess around the pool, it's quite lively from, well, not lively, it's not like Ibiza. Um, it's pretty much a family resort. I say if you've got mid-aged teenagers, Zone C is where you want to be. But the rest of it really is families with little ones. Uh, I guess if you're on a stag or a kind of, um, you know, you've just finished your sixth form, your A-levels or whatever, this is not really a resort for you. There's, it's not an all-night resort at all. Um, the bar goes on till about sort of 10.30 uh, at night. But after that, it's pretty quiet. So this is just leaving the main campus, uh, Zone C. And you've got to cross this little road and go on to Zone D. Um, if you look on Google Earth, it's quite dated and also it's filmed in the middle of winter. So it looks quite grim, but actually it's lovely. Um, it's the middle of summer, the grass is green. It's a bit of a heat wave actually. Um, so there's a gym there which is part of the campus. <clears throat> and this is the uh, family zone. So I'll show you a bit closer. So here in zone D, there's the tiny kids uh, toddler room, little play area, bit of shade. There's also the uh, wet splash zone. This is a lot of fun, a lot of fun. Okay. So all these apartments around here, they're uh, where you'll find two beds. Um, I guess if you want, and uh, two beds and a um, sofa bed layout. It's a bit quieter up this end. Okay. So again, just leaving zone D at that side and coming into the other side of zone Z. So nice family pools, nice and busy. It's about four o'clock in the afternoon and there's a beach bar down the end and also a uh, cafe restaurant area where you can have your meals, all inclusive meals. So still kind of moving within zone D, uh, cafe at the back, coming back this way, they're the, um, I think they're adult only, I think. And then just going back into zone C over here. Um, there's no security on any of these gates, any of these doors. You can just wander in. I guess you could, if you rent an apartment nearby, just wander in and get in the pool. But I haven't seen that. And it's kind of enough out of the town that there's no trouble here. The roads are pretty quiet. Um, but I guess if you've got kids who like to wander off, you might need to consider the fact that they can. So back into zone C, a uh, little yoga studio. Um, so if you want it quiet, you want to make sure that you're away from the pools. So there's premium apartments or apartments here in these blocks at the ends and then there's also the same apartments poolside so if you want to be straight into the pool or be able to see your kids in the pool you want poolside if you want a bit of peace come at this end absolutely peaceful so let's go down and have a look at pool C
So, this is Pool C, the most rowdy, I guess, of the uh, pools. Uh, little pool bar. Uh, a deep pool and a splash pool. So, all the uh, three pools have bars and each one's got a little ping pong table and uh, air hockey and uh, in between the zones you get these kind of little boulevards where nothing happens but it's nice it kind of gives it a bit of space um, and it also separates the noise so this is back to the restaurant this is pool B um, little arcade uh, this is back to the restaurant again so, I'll show you where we're staying. So, this is about, still about, you know, hops four. There's plenty of folks about. It gets a bit quiet on tea time. And then there's a few bods in at night, up to about 10 o'clock, but, you know, quiet. So, here we are at our uh, little corner. So, right next to the pool. And these garden rooms come straight on the little corridor between. So a garden apartment has uh, a couple of lounges and a bit of shade, picnic table, small area there. It is a bit mozzy at night, so bring your skin so soft. Outside each room, so you share a, a, a porch, um, there's a little drying rack which is very useful being so close to the pool. Coming in we've got the Little kitchenette, so good sized fridge, very cold but no freezer. Uh, little induction hob um, uh, with an extractor and a toaster and a coffee machine and a kettle and a microwave and all the pots and pans and knives and forks and cups and glasses. And then you've got a um, good sized living room which converts the two sofas into two uh, sleeping beds which are good uh, a tv so you get bbc one bbc two <sighs> occasionally you get cbb's uh the rest of it's in spanish so if you want to watch any tv uh bring a usb memory stick um a little dining area another little door that goes out aircon is really good Focused, yeah. Aircon is really good, so um, if you want it on all night, it'll stay on all night. We set it at about 22 and it comes on for an hour, goes off for an hour, comes on for an hour, goes off for an hour, and it works really well. And then through into the bathroom, so a really good uh, wet room, shower room vibe, uh, toilet, sinks, and plenty of space. And then going through into the uh, master bedroom, I guess. So it's a twin, but a really good size double. Uh, the There's a little safe as well. Uh, plenty of lights and sockets and such. Um, the room service come every day and turn the beds down. New sheets if you need them, new towels. Um, it's pretty good.